Mm. Oh, I'm feeling real chocolatey in this camera today, baby. Yes. <laughs> What's up, you guys, and welcome back to Books by Brit TV. I'm your host, Brit, and we're going to be doing a candle discussion today. Yay! <laughs> so, y'all, listen, I had planned on making this a two part video where I come back and tell you guys my impressions overall over candles, but uh, I know I can't commit to doing that. <laughs> so, we're going to just talk to y'all. So, we're going to do an initial, just a a basic candle review, right? And the candles are going to are coming from Smart Brown girl book club yay smart brown girl book club is a book group yeah smart brown girl book club which was created by one of my favorite people out here on these youtube social media streets Jewelsing. and um it is a non-profit based out of north carolina carolina excuse me charlotte north carolina right and the, their mission is for the black girls in the forgotten spaces brings together an international community of women of color through reading and dialogue. You better say that, Julesy. And y'all, this is one of my favorite book groups. I'm not a part of them on Facebook, um, but I watch all of their um, videos here on YouTube because they be doing their thing on it. Like they print out syllabi for you to follow along with the reader because sometimes reading um can be a little complicated and it's also meant to educate you on some of the things that they're discussing and i did purchase i believe i purchased two or three of the syllabi i think i purchased um women of brewster's place sula and beloved the general tracks for those three reads was it women of brewster's place i can't remember but i purchased those to you know to see what i could take away from them um when I go back and reread those books, which I plan on doing during the winter holidays. I think I told you I like to read a lot of um, African-American literature, especially during the holidays. But anywho, y'all, let me tell y'all. So she had a Smart Round Girl book club, had a candle, not candle, but they had um, a sale going on for Cyber Monday where you got 20% off using um, a code, right? And so the bundle that I bought um, of the candles is typically like $125. But they were on sale for a hundred dollars, and then he added my code twenty percent off. Only cost me seventy five dollars. But this is the thing, Jewelsy and Company. The shipping was kind of expensive, right? <laughs> like um, when I put like originally I put it in to be delivered to my mom's house because for some reason I just knew it was gonna be cheaper to be um have everything shipped to my mom's house, who's like two hundred miles away from me. But and it was it was nine dollars, and then when I put in, excuse me. My own address is shot up to $22, but you know, I ain't really mad about the shipping, right? Cause you know, it's a small business, it's a nonprofit and all the proceeds are going to go towards educating black women. <laughs> so you can't be that with a stick. And it's also like, I was going to order some of Jackie Ina's Forever Mood candles, as well as this other girl that I um, follow on Instagram, but I changed my mind. I said, you know, this is something that I'm passionate about educating women and you know, that type of thing so i just purchased the candles from smart brown girls instead because i feel like my money is going to go to a good cause now later on i might or may order some um forever mood candles by jackie i you know i may do that but anyway y'all let's get down to this hill candle haul right because i gotta pop back in in a few so the first candle oh y'all look and this is what it came in <laughs> and y'all she gave me peanuts for days baby and i'm gonna reuse this because i gotta send my auntie something over in the islands so let's get to it y'all so like i said i ordered the bundle which came with all candles on the website oh and another thing i like y'all this might be shades to other people um you know i ain't even gonna say that <laughs> the first one is focus and focus on remembering you are all the things you ever love and it has lemon grapefruit pink peppercorn jasmine basil atlas cedarwood Hand pour 100% vegan soy wax. Let me smell this, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. I can smell the lemon in it for sure. I can smell the lemon and jasmine a lot. Mm, y'all, this kind of smells so freaking good. Y'all, this is my first time smelling them too. I on you know I opened them up and everything like that, but I didn't smell them. But this smells really good. Focus. You know what? Put you over here on my bookshelf, baby. I think I'm put all those over there. Harry Potter one. I'm putting my, all the pillows on my bookshelf. They're gonna get burnt, but they're gonna be on the bookshelf. Let me pick out another one. Togetherness. 
for the black girl in the forgotten spaces. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, based on your mission, baby. And it says communion, honor, visibility, space, camaraderie. Sweet orange, neroli, benzoin, lemon balm. Oh, I can't read it. Pettigrain, majorum, and cedarwood. Let's see, y'all. Hmm. It smells good. I think I would burn this while I'm cooking with my mom and my aunts. You know, like how women cook together on Thanksgiving or on the holidays or for any kind of get together where family's gonna be around. Mmm, it smells good. I can see why she called it togetherness. Yeah, I would definitely cook have this burning while like, or even um if me and my mom was having a drink, you know, on the back porch, I would probably burn this then. This smells really good actually. Mm, I like that. Put you up there, baby. Matter of fact, you might go up front, up top. Let's see y'all. Clarifying, say it clear and it will be beautiful. Clary Sage, Bergamot, Neroli, Patchouli. Mm, that's one of my favorites. I just got some Bath and Body Works. Um, I think it's Patchouli, Vanilla Patchouli. I, I love that scent because it got a little spice to it. And Ying, Yinglang, Yinglang. I hope I'm saying that right. It's Y-L-A-N-G. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this smells really good. It is clarifying. This is definitely going inside of the bathroom. I'm going to put it on a bookshelf and all, but it's going to go. It's going to be one that I'm going to burn in the bathroom. Or even in my bedroom. When I wake up early in the morning, this is the candle that I will burn in. That, that bergamot is, is sage. You can, you can really smell it. Mm. You know what? <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? Like I read in a book once that, you know, you, you should always have cinnamon boiling on the stove because it makes whoever comes in calm. I think that was in Tumbling by Diana or Diane Whetstone McKinney that she said that. And then one of my aunts told me to always have some cinnamon on the stove so that people come to your house, they're clear and calm. And that's what this is reminding me of, that saying. So, like I want to put it in the bathroom, of course, in my or my bedroom, but I really like this smell. It smells really good put you up there for now. I know I got five for the other one at. Okay, y'all. This is rest. Resting as an activist practice. Peace, restoration, and leisure. And it has sweet orange, Roman chamomile, lavender, and sandalwood. Mm, let's see y'all. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell bad at all. I'm just trying to think. Ooh, it says restoration, peace, and leisure. It, oh, you know what this reminded me of? Like when I go to the gym for some reason. That's what it's giving me. I think it reminded me of going to the gym and, re and, and, and how the gym smells when you first walk in. So that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, you know, you don't really smell that until you go into the gym. Let me see. Mm. It actually smells good though. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely wrist. <laughs> and it's purple, y'all. My favorite color. <laughs> well, I'm going to put you. You know what? Let me put you up here next to hood feminism for now. That's where you'll go. <laughs> and I have one more, y'all. Where is it? Ooh, peanuts getting everywhere. I know I got another one in here. About to say that deep. <laughs> here it goes. Oops. Get out of this side. Girl, peanuts falling everywhere. All right. This is a loving ethic, utilizing all dimensions of love. Oh, that is so sweet. And it says communion, honor, visibility, space, camaraderie. And the scents are passion flower. I love passion flowers. Rose, Jasmine, and Vetiver. I hope I said that right. It's B E T I V E R. Let's see y'all. Oh my God. Y'all, this one smells so good. 
a loving ethic. Mm. Y'all, this smells really good. A loving ethic, utilizing all the missions of love. It's reminding me of my boo. Mm. I think I'm gonna put you on the middle of the table and, and burn you tonight, baby. When my man come over tonight. Y'all, this smells so good. This is my favorite one. It has a little spice in it too. Passion flower. Mm. Maybe that Betty Bird that I've never heard of before. Maybe that's a little kick to it. It smells very romantic, y'all. <laughs> Mm. Y'all, it smells very good. I'm not even gonna lie. But what it says that about a hand poured at Indie Tonic using 100% soy wax and made in the USA, boom. So <laughs> can't beat that with a stick. It's made in America. Proceeds are gonna go towards um educating, you know, black women. A nonprofit. You can't beat that with a stick. Mm. Y'all, these kind of smells so so good. Oh, let me spell this one again. Y'all, this is my favorite one. A loving ethic is definitely my favorite one. Which honestly, um, a loving ethic was the one I was gonna purchase three of those initially because I don't know why. Just the title alone, just <laughs> the name of this candle just used to send me every time I would go to the website and see it. And then I decided to go ahead and purchase the bundle, which I'm really glad I had because I want to burn all of these. You know, I'm gonna put you over here just for now. But I'm going to burn all of those. Those candles smell really good, y'all. So definitely, definitely check out um, Smart, Bra Smart Brown Girls Book Club. Also, y'all, I wanted to purchase um, some of the t-shirts. But what happened? It was a reason why I didn't purchase any t-shirts. But she also has like, yes, the Zora Neale Hurston shirt wasn't on there. And that was the one that I wanted the most because that's like my favorite girl. Which I was really surprised because I know Julie had said in the video before that she loves Zora Neale Hurston's work a lot. But I didn't see that um, shirt on there. But she has like these literary giant t-shirts as well where you can go and purchase. Um, where she has Ida B. Wells, Audrey Lord. And Toni Morrison are the three that I can think of off the top of my head right now. But definitely go in there and purchase it. And I'll leave a link to two of my favorite videos from the um that the book group has talked about. One of my favorites is Heavy. And I cannot think of the guy, the author's name. But when she did that author chat with the guy who wrote Heavy, it was really good, y'all. I think I watched that chat. I know I watched it three times in its entirety because it was really good. And that dude, like, you know, he was... It was a really cool person. It was really cool listening to them talk. Then my second favorite one was the one that she did with Patricia Hill Collins. That daughter know exactly what she's talking about. But y'all definitely go over there and check out Smart Brown Girl Book Club here on YouTube and buy some of these candles, right? And y'all, this isn't paid. I paid my own money on for this, so this isn't paid advertising. But that's all I got for y'all, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and follow me on Instagram at Books by Brit, B O O K S X B R I T T. Bye, you guys.